Good morning and welcome back to Country Wife Mommy Life. Today's video, we're going to get down to the nitty gritty and do some organizing before Thanksgiving next week. So my kitchen is mostly clean. We finally have all the canning supplies put away and the floor has been swept, um, but the cupboards are a mess. The baking supplies are a mess. Just things have just not been kept neat and organized because of heavy, heavy canning season. So that's finally all over and done with. So now it's time to get into these cupboards, get into these cabinets, and get this organized. So come along with me and let's have some fun getting the cabinets organized before the holidays. So this is the cupboard where I keep all of my plasticware and a lot of my glassware. Um, and it's just kind of been messy. My kids put empty the dishwasher every day and put stuff away and I haven't been as on top of them to keep it organized as what we normally do. So we're just gonna take a couple minutes and go through and make sure everything's cleaned out and organized and ready to go. These are stacking lids and you can kind of click them together which makes them really nice to keep them nice and neat in a pile and they don't fall all over the cabinet. There's a kitty in here. in the back. This in container's here. actually up in the pantry. The kitty was over here, buddy. She was over here. Here she is. Your panties. Good little kitten. Yeah, your panties. Just go back outside. There's your sweet girl. <laughs> Thanks, bud. Naughty kitten. Don't go back outside. Apparently, kitties are getting into the house. <laughs> All right, so that wasn't too bad. Oh, that one. We have a loose blade in here. That's never a good thing. Somebody's little hands getting cut. Okay, so that's about as clean as that cupboard gets. Let's move on to the next one. This cupboard is where I keep a lot of my large 10 by 14 baking dishes and my 9 by 13 ones. I keep some of the smaller ones in the back because as a family of nine, we don't use them that frequently. So I'm just gonna take a moment, kind of get these set back up where they need to be. I like to put the lids on the side because I don't use them all the time. There we go. And then down below, I have some bread pans and I keep my colanders down here this thing that I very rarely use. And in the back, there's some smaller, like muffin, muffin tins. And we use those for some special occasions. My other larger, my larger muffin tins are actually in a different cupboard. We use those much more frequently. This is the pots and pans cupboard, and um, it doesn't look too bad at the moment, but I do need to move these pans back to where they're supposed to be. My humongous pan sits here my humongous Dutch oven that is currently in the sink soaking at the moment but if I leave these pans here then there won't be room for that Dutch oven so sometimes my kids just shove the pans in you know like everybody's kids and it just needs a little bit of mommy help every once in a while so we're gonna fix that real quick
Those also go in the back because, again, I use my larger ones more frequently, and it's just handier to have them stacked in the back instead of all the way up front. So that is the lid for my large pan, and it will fit nicely there. Down here on the bottom, I've got a couple of saucepans that don't fit on the top, and then in the back behind here are all of my larger um, like frying pans, that type of thing. And it's easy to pull these out to be able to get to those. All right, next we come to a stack of drawers. Underneath the sink does not really need to be organized because I have child locks on there so that my kids can't, or my little kids can't get into the stuff under there. So that stays pretty cleaned up. But we're gonna start with the bottom drawer because as you can see, it's a bit of a conglomerated mess in there. So I'm gonna take a couple of moments and get this tidied up. So in here I have parchment paper, an almost empty box of, I think these are quart size storage bags. For the longest time I was having trouble finding freezer bags. So I ended up having to just get some storage bags and hopefully I can replenish my freezer bags here soon. and some more parchment paper down here at the bottom. Got some plastic cutlery here in the back that we ended up picking up when we were out and about somewhere and we needed something to eat with. So we picked that up and it's just kind of been sitting in here. These are really cool. A friend of mine made these for me. Um, when you have like those freezer popsicles, pop ice, whatever they're called, you can put this on the bottom and little hands don't get as cold when they're holding onto this at the bottom. So I have a whole stack of those in here. Which those can probably just go in a bag. Alright, whoops. Don't pop it. Alright, we'll put those in the back. And they can just sit on the top there because it's November. We're not eating popsicles anytime soon, are we? We're not, nope. <laughs> They're all gone. All right, so we're just going to put the parchment paper back in, and then the foil, and then the plastic wrap. I've got two gallon size storage bags here. Those will go in here on the side, along with that. And that looks much better. A lot neater, a lot more organized, and I can see what I have and reach what I need. So the second drawer up just has an apron. This cord actually belongs to my griddle, and I keep it in here because my griddle is actually up in the pantry at the moment. And the last griddle I had, I found when I left it in there, it, it would bend. So I ended up having to get a new griddle, and I decided to keep that plug in here instead. So underneath the apron, we've got a very large oven mitt. My hands are pretty big, but we got a large oven mitt that does not fit in my oven mitt drawer. So that stays down here. That's an extra apron, and there's a couple of baby bibs back there. So that's all that's in that drawer, and that one doesn't get unorganized very often. Clearly, this is a washcloth drawer and rag drawer, and most of my washcloths are in the laundry. <laughs> And then this is the kitchen towels, and again, that's not too, too bad. So, moving on to something else. This is my island, where I keep a lot of my baking type things. So we've got cutting boards down here. There are big bowls down here that I use, my big mixing bowls. And a lot of these just need to kind of be stacked up and sorted out. Those are small ones that I don't use very frequently. The big ones I use almost almost on a daily basis. So I'm just going to kind of get these stacked up and put away. I've got a glass, kind of. I mean, it's a mixing bowl, but it's like it's a big eight cup measurement. We'll use that as a mixing bowl, and then these small ones I like to put in the back. I also keep another large Dutch uh, Dutch 
oh, Dutch oven pan that I won't fit in my pot and pan drawer. On the top shelf, we've got a bunch of measuring cups that get unorganized all the time. Let's just take a moment to put these back together. And then random things end up in places where, you know, who knows what that is. I keep all my little measuring spoons just in a little container. It's just easier to find what I need. There we go. And that's that. Nice, neat, and organized. rolling pin in here, I keep my glass measuring cups in here, my can opener, and oh I bet that's what this is too. No, that one already has one on there. So I go to the other one. Goes to the other one. Yeah. I think this goes on here maybe. Cheese graters. We've got a cherry, um, I'm not even sure what to call it, a cherry pitter thing. It's very handy. My husband loves cherries, and so we use this in the summertime. I think it goes like that. I'm not sure actually how it goes. I don't know how that goes together, so we'll just put that together. Right there, that's his little toy that he likes to use. Oh, and a piece of broken glass. Interesting. I don't know what broke in there, but something did, obviously. the baking, the measuring cups, the baking things. I also have a uh, bread maker in here. I don't use it very frequently, but my kids enjoy making homemade bread and this is something that they like to use. So yay, nice, neat, and cleaned up. This is my baking cupboard where I keep all of my baking supplies, flour, sugar, salt, you know, those types of things. This one actually isn't too, too bad because I just tidied it up the other day when I was working on um, pizza dough, so it's it's not too, too bad. But when we went grocery shopping, um, some of this stuff didn't get put away where it needs to be put away. So we're just going to take a quick moment and tidy this up. Turn the cans around so that we can see what's in it. have a container for chocolate chips but it was kind of half full and I didn't end up using it all. These are some um, allergen free chocolate chips. They're dairy free. So I can make my husband cookies. So he's got a couple kinds in here that he can use. I keep these in the back because we don't use them as frequently. Just going to tidy that up a little bit. Everything's good. That one, I have room in my sugar container now. So I can probably fit the rest of this bag of sugar in here. This is why we're cleaning things out, so I can find my funnels when I need them. Don't use them frequently, but when I do need them, or when I do use them, I need to find them. Alright, let's see if this all 
not make a mess of it. All right, that didn't quite all fit in there, but we got most of it in. All right. Powdered sugar and cornmeal and a little bit of almond flour back there. May have overfilled that a little bit, but that's all right. That will get used pretty soon. I'm going to put the white sugar there. And then I like to get the larger bag at Sam's Club for the brown sugar so we don't have this situation. But it was overly pricey at Sam's Club this time, so I just got a smaller smaller portion bags that were cheaper per ounce at Walmart instead. All right, that's pretty much it for this cupboard. All right, so coming around the other side of the island here, I have some five gallon buckets that I use for various things. And you can just kind of see there's conglomeration of things here. So I'm just gonna go through these real quick Try to figure out what's full, what's empty, and just generally tidy this up. We've got cat food sitting over here, so just trying to generally straighten this up. Alright, we've got cat litter. We'll move that out of the way. Big bag of flour. That Oh, that's torn. Okay. Alright. This bucket says sapphire flour, which we can just throw the all purpose flour in. If I can get the lid off. Maybe. I used them when we went uh, when we got our grapes. Right. That one says oatmeal. Out of oatmeal currently. Toy. We're currently out of oatmeal, so I do need to get some more of that. This is whole wheat flour. I've got two buckets of whole wheat flour here. This bucket does not have a label on it. And that was also used for grapes. So I have two buckets I have to clean out. Actually, I think three. Three buckets I have to clean out. Okay. That's good to know. So I'm just going to put these lids here for the moment. And we'll have to clean those buckets out. And the one that's not labeled, I think I'm going to dump the big bag of cat food in. And yeah, there we go. Now that's all tidied up. clean. I'm going to dry it with a towel and then give it a few minutes to air dry because I don't want to put flour in here and have any chance of any liquid in here at all. Shoo. 
Okay. <laughs> All right, this bucket is nice and dry now. It's had plenty of time to dry. The inside is thoroughly dry. So I'm going to cut this open and dump this in here. Each five gallon bucket will hold about a 25 pound bag of flour. Let's see if I can do this without creating a disaster, or too much of a disaster. try to put it with the label out so that oh there's a ball under there here bud would you put that ball away please thank you so we'll put that there put the oats on top and that will be that i'm going to use one of these other buckets for i think this one did not have a label on it no that one did not have a label so what i'm going to do is gonna dump our cat food in here That will be that. Where's the computer? And then we'll use some of these easy to open lids on here, and then the kids can get the cat food out as they need. Definitely get my label maker and put a label on that. All right, so I've got a label and I'm going to put this on the bucket so that my kids can see that that is for cat food. The bucket is also white and my other bins are all blue or buckets. My other buckets are all blue. So they will know that that is for the cat food and yeah, we won't be getting in there for any cooking or baking needs. So I've got one more bucket I need to clean out. I need to sweep the floor. But yeah, overall, I think that that looks pretty good. Nice and neat. The last cupboard I would like to attack today is my spice cupboard, I call it. So this just has some random, just some random things in it. I have my breast pump up here. Um, actually, I have two breast pumps up here. Those just kind of stay up there. Some breast milk storage bags. Some canning things that we're not really using right now. Stuff for making pickles. Dill weed. What else is up here? Yeah, mustard seed. Lots of stuff for like canning pickles and stuff. So, so my canning salt. Ideally, I'd have all my canning supplies in one place but I don't really have room for that in our small farmhouse. So that doesn't, doesn't work very well. I've got a big container of basil, cinnamon. I have chicken flavor bouillon, taco seasoning, some onion soup and dip mix. I have some maple flavoring back here and a random uh, seasoning, lemon and garlic and oregano chicken seasoning. Obviously I don't use those things very often. This is Italian seasoning which needs to be moved down to here. I've got my uh, cupcake liners and baking cups right here. And then this bin, we don't need to organize this. 
but this holds all like my sprinkles and my cake decorating supplies and some candles so that will go back up here and that just kind of lives there this however needs just a little bit of help i need to see what i need for the baking season coming up and it just needs to be organized just a little bit so that's what we're going to do now I like to keep my spices on turntables because I can see what's in my cupboard and I can keep it fairly nice and neat. So I'm just going to go through here real quick. This is more of my baking type spices and then over here I have more of my cooking spices. So I've got some cinnamon and sugar that my kids like to mix up and put on their toast. I've got cream of tartar, toothpicks, some ginger, a little bit of allspice, so I need allspice, I definitely need nutmeg, and I keep an empty container of pumpkin pie spice, and then uh, obviously it's empty, so I need to make some more, but I will make some and fill it up, and we'll use that all season long. The freeze-dried chives shouldn't even be on here. Sorry. <laughs> oh, did you put it on there? <laughs> Sometimes I get confused about which table it goes on. I see. Okay, apparently my son likes to cook and uh, mixes up my stuff. Um, so we've got some ranch flavoring, or seasoning, ranch seasoning, seasoning salt, some bay leaves, which probably shouldn't be on there either, and some sesame seed oil. So obviously those are more for cooking, but I don't necessarily have room for all of them, so I do kind of keep them separated a little bit. So yeah, that's how that tray looks, nice and cleaned up. that back in the cupboard. Pull okay, this forward. Got some old bay seasoning, some garlic powder, basil leaves in a smaller container, and then I just fill it from the larger one. Um, some garlic salt, onion powder, some chili powder, paprika, poultry seasoning, and then this is a container I had mixed up to make some dairy-free ranch seasoning for my husband, so that just stays there for when I need it. I have some oregano, which I need to get a container for it, but I don't have one right now. I have some crushed red pepper flakes, and then in the middle here, this was actually given to me by a missionary friend. From, um, from some of their islands that they go to. And he filled it with all kinds of spices Grenada. from Grenada. And so there's some bay leaves in here and some turmeric and whole nutmeg. Isn't that cool? So I just kind of keep that in there because it's kind of cool. And I do use some of these spices. But I like how pretty the container is, so I like to keep it on my tray, and it gives me a good reminder to pray for them. All right, so the bay leaves and the frozen chives I'm going to actually take off because I don't have room for them on here. I'm also going to take this container off since it doesn't have anything in it, and I'm going to put the Italian seasoning on here. So that will all fit nicely back in the cupboard. And I'll show you what that looks like here. All right, so this is nicely and neatly put away. We can see everything that's up there right now. This does say salt on it. I did label that. Yeah, nice and neat and organized. And then we do have some space here. So what I will actually do is, since I don't have room for the chives or the... Um, or the bay leaves. I will actually put that over here with on my on my baking one. I'll just scoot that over a little bit and make room for those. Yeah. 
So that's how I like to keep my spice cupboard. Not overly full, but just simple. These are the spices that I use the most. These are the ingredients I use the most in my cooking and my baking. And yeah, a nice, simple meat supply. So that's it for this kitchen organization, getting ready for the holidays. Most of my cupboards are organized and cleaned out, so that gives me a great start for the holiday season. So if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing for more content like this. See you later. Bye.